Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at using your Xbox controller to navigate your Steam Deck. This is especially handy if you're playing in docked mode or maybe if you have your Steam Deck in a, in a case with a stand or something like that, but it works really well. The first thing you wanna do, of course, is connect your Xbox controller. So hit your Steam button, go to settings, go to Bluetooth, and then you'll be ready to pair your Xbox controller. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on your Xbox controller and then hold down your connect button until the light starts to blink and then wait for the Steam Deck to pick that up. Now, sometimes this happens really quickly. Sometimes it takes a little while, especially if I have more than one Xbox controller connected, but we'll give it a chance here to go ahead and find that controller. There we go. So we'll go down here, highlight it. I'll click on A, and it'll go ahead and connect to our controller. Now, once it does that, I'll be done with the Steam Deck part. I can grab my Xbox controller, hit the button there, and you'll see the buttons have remapped out. They're the right color for the Xbox controller and all that kind of thing here. And it's really cool because it's easy to navigate, and they've incorporated all those cool Steam shortcuts into this as well. So if you hold down the Xbox button and you click the right stick without moving it, you'll get the list of Steam shortcuts completely mapped here for the Xbox controller, which is super handy when you're navigating, especially in docked mode. Now, the flaw here is if you hold down the Xbox controller too long while reading that menu is it will turn off. Unfortunately, I wish there was a way to kind of change that in here, but you can't. Um, but anyway, you are able to at least look at that menu. Now, the other thing is if you hold down the Xbox button and move that right stick around, it'll actually be a mouse cursor. So I'll hold down the Xbox button and move that, and that'll be a mouse cursor for that. And if you want to click something, you would use the right trigger and then left trigger, of course, for left click. So works pretty well for that. Now, if I hold down the Xbox controller and hit the right button, I'll get a screenshot, which is also really handy if you're in game or uh, on desktop or whatever the case may be there. And now if we hit the Xbox button, of course, it's just the regular Steam menu and we hit B to go back. But if we hold that down and hit A, we'll get our quick access menu, which is really handy. So that mimics the three dot quick access menu button that you have on your Steam Deck. Now, also, if I hold down the Xbox button and hit X, we'll get our on-screen keyboard that you can use and navigate with your D-pad or whatever you want there. Hit A, so it makes it easy if you don't have a keyboard connected and you're trying to type something in for a game. You can also hold down the Xbox button and use the left stick up and down to adjust your screen's brightness. I can't show you that here on screen cap, but it works really well on the Steam Deck if you're not screen capping or you're just sitting there with a stand. If you hold down the Xbox button and use the D-pad, you'll mimic a mouse click, an escape, and a tab. So that can also be handy in different scenarios, especially like web browsers or certain games. Again, if we just click the button, we'll just go into the Steam menu. So. Pretty easy stuff here. A lot of cool ways to be able to navigate with the Xbox controller, and it's really easy that they've incorporated all the Steam shortcuts into this. So whether you're in game or in game mode here or whatever, it's really easy to navigate. All right, guys, I hope this video was a little bit helpful. Thanks a lot for coming to check it out. If you haven't already subscribed, thumbs up, ring the bell. You know what to do. Leave me your comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.